Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And what I would like to do in this tutorial is uh, explain to you the difference between sites, pages, and web parts. Um, I'm sure you have already maybe uh, run into this terminology uh, already. If you uh, maybe read some uh, blog posts, articles, maybe watch some videos on how to work with SharePoint, uh, I'm pretty sure you already had uh, references to those uh, three pieces of terminology. Well, it's very important to understand the difference uh, between those three uh, pieces, and that's essentially what I would like to do in this uh, video. Now, uh, in SharePoint, uh, we have three major uh, building blocks, um, three major elements uh, of SharePoint. Uh, and like I already mentioned, they are sites, web parts, and pages. So uh, what I would like to do now is uh, start uh, explaining to you and showing you uh, what they are and what the difference, you know, uh, between all these uh, elements uh, is. So let's start with sites. Let's start with sites. Uh, so by sites, we of course mean SharePoint uh, sites. What is a site in SharePoint? Think of a site as a workspace. It's essentially a workspace that allows you to organize um, various content in SharePoint. So what you see right now on the screen, uh, this is just an example. This happens to be a company uh, intranet. Uh, and what you see right now on the screen is um, essentially one of the sites. This happens to be the intranet main site. Uh, each site in SharePoint has its own URL. Uh, look and feel and security. So again, this happens to be kind of the main site. Uh, and this is the site that all employees maybe have access to, to read news, uh, you know, access events, links, uh, images, videos, and so on. Uh, and the way SharePoint works, it consists of many sites. As a matter of fact, uh, the more the better. So I have all my sites connected here through this um, global menu. And let me navigate to one of the sites. Uh, so this happens to be another site, uh, human resources site, human resources employee face and site. So this site is accessible by all the employees. This is where employees can access and download employee handbooks and read HR news and links and events and so on. So the idea here is that this is a separate site. This is a unique site just for human resources. And once again, it has a unique URL, but most importantly, uh, it has essentially a unique workspace for human resources uh, content. And the idea here is that um, obviously it's a dedicated workspace for HR content. Uh, this site can have uh, its own unique uh, look and feel. And most importantly, uh, the site also um, has its own unique security. So in this case, for example, I happen to be the owner of the site. Uh, Mary is my colleague. She is the member. So Mary can help me with the content and everyone has read only uh, access. And, um, you know, I have other sites in my tenant, all right? I have accounting site and this site has uh, obviously a unique URL as well and unique content, unique look and feel. And this site might have its own unique security. Maybe somebody else will maintain, somebody from accounting will be the owner of the site. And that's essentially the whole idea uh, behind different sites in SharePoint. Now, uh, sites can be uh, employee facing, just like this human resources employee facing site. And sites can be private and restricted. So uh, using the same HR analogy, uh, I have a, a, another HR site. This, is, this happens to be a team site. Uh, only accessible by the HR team. So in this particular case, uh, nobody, uh, no one else other than the uh, HR team has access to the site. So this is where HR will uh, store uh, and collaborate on HR-related uh, uh, content, and only HR team has access uh, to this particular site. Uh, but long story short, uh, essentially the site is a workspace where you can organize uh, different types of content, news announcements, you know, links, events, uh, you know, whatever documents, whatever you have. Uh, and, it, you know, the more sites, the better. That's kind of the philosophy in modern SharePoint. As a matter of fact, the rule of thumb in SharePoint is that uh, if you have unique security, you create a new site. So if you have a unique um, 
um, you know, a set of users, right, that need to have um, access to specific content, um, you just create a new site. Why? Because site is where we manage permissions uh, in SharePoint. We prefer to manage permissions at the site level. Uh, we don't typically uh, manage permissions at the folder level or file level. Uh, this is too granular. That's why you might have, you know, many, many different sites. Uh, and again, you know, using this HR example, this is a clear example uh, where you don't just create one site uh, and have a public folder, if you will, and a private HR folder. No, in this case, we have a separate HR, you know, team site, private site, and a separate, uh, a separate employee-facing site. Uh, the second um, element, the second uh, building block I would like to explain is something called a web part. Uh, what is a web part? A web part, think of a web part as almost like an app on your phone. Just like on your phone, you have an app for everything. In SharePoint, you have uh, an app for everything as well. We call it a web part. Um, pretty much it's, a, it's like a little app that allows you to store and organize uh, certain content on your SharePoint site. So if I stay on this human resources employee facing site, uh, I have this uh, countdown timer web part. Uh, this is the web part that allows me to kind of set this uh, countdown timer, you know, uh, uh, a deadline and uh, the clock uh, ticking down. Um, I have a web part uh, to store and organize links. I have a web part to store and organize events. I have a web part to organize uh, news and announcements. Uh, let's go to um, some other sites. So I'm on this main site again. Uh, again, uh, some links in here. A weather web part. Again, uh, a calendar web part, news web part. Um, a hero web part. This is the web part that allows me to, to have um, you know, nice looking images with links behind them. So you probably get the idea. A web part is essentially uh, like a little widget, a little app that allows you to store and organize uh, content uh, on your SharePoint site. And, um, you know, SharePoint has uh, built in um, out of the box web parts that you can choose from. I, I actually, as a matter of fact, let me show you um, so once again, I'm on a different site right now, and uh, you see all these different web parts in here. Um, and um, if you are the site owner, uh, you can actually add uh, additional web parts. And what you see right now on the screen are just different additional web parts that you can choose from uh, and uh, and add uh, you know to your sites. Uh, some of the web parts you already see in here. Some of the web parts. Uh, you know, probably makes sense uh, maybe like for the main site, like, um, you know, this weather web part and uh, vault clock and maps and so on. Um, but, um, but yeah, a lot of these web parts are, are pretty popular and uh, definitely a nice way for you to, um, you know, to organize and uh, spice up the look and feel of your uh, SharePoint site. Uh, the third and uh, final uh, element of building block I would like to introduce you to is something called a page, a SharePoint page. And too often users confuse sites and pages. Uh, uh, these are two completely different things. So I already explained to you what a site is. Uh, remember, a site is a workspace. Uh, and you have many different sites. Uh, you will have many different sites in your environment. Um, you know, one for each project, each client, yeah, yeah, you know, department, function, uh, and so on. Uh, so what is a page? Uh, well, let me explain. So I'm on this human resources site. This is, again, once again, the employee facing HR site. And if you notice, I have um, uh, some content in here already. I have news, I have countdown timer, links, calendar, and so on. Uh, and let's just say I now maybe uh, would like to add some videos. So maybe I have, um, you know what, I need to add some text and links um, uh, talking about benefits, uh, for example. Uh, well, I can obviously keep adding stuff at the bottom, but you know what, nobody will ever find it, right? Nobody really scrolls down and, you know, 10, pay, you know, 10 pages, if you will, and, you know, to, to find the stuff. Uh, so in, in this case, what we can do, we can create another page. A page is essentially a way to display information, to display web parts on your site. 
So by default, when you create a site, you only get one page. You can have as many as you want. As a matter of fact, um, you will have um, most likely lots of pages on a given site. So let me uh, show you really quick uh, how to create a new page and just kind of explain to you the difference, uh, once again, between a site and a page. So uh, let's just say I need to add some additional content. Maybe I want to, uh, to, to uh, add some information about benefits and some links and uh, all the benefit stuff. So I'm going to say new page and I'm going, there are different templates for me to choose from. I'm going to start with the blank one. All right, and I'm going to um, uh, type in uh, benefits. All right, and uh, this is just like, a, you know, just like any, uh, you know, the regular page, I can add uh, my widgets, I can uh, add different sections, columns, uh, whatever, whatever I want to do and uh, uh, whatever I want to do and add to my, uh, uh, to my page. Uh, so let me publish it, let me publish it. I'm going to publish the page. Now, uh, once the page has been published, uh, so that benefits page I just published resides on that same site. But uh, where is uh, where is that page, right? Uh, we probably you probably don't see it. Let's find it. So let me show you where all the pages on a site are stored. Gear icon, site contents, and just like you have a library for documents, right? Uh, they're called document uh, documents. Uh, this is a document library. We have a special library for pages. So every single site has this library called site pages. So let me click and look at this. Um, so these are all the different pages I have uh, in uh, my uh, on my site. Uh, now some pages already existed. Uh, some you know um, I created. And look at this. This is the page we just created. I guess I already had another page, so we just gave it an alternate kind of name. Uh, but here is my page. If I click on this, this is the page uh, we just created. And it has a dedicated URL, but that page, very important, resides on that same human resources site. So what I can do now is maybe I can copy the URL and I could add a link. Maybe here, let's just add a link so that you see how it works, all right? So I'm going to uh, add a link just like that. So uh, when users uh, go to my HR site, by default, they will see the main kind of page. And if they want to read about benefits, um, you know, they can click on this page and read about uh, the benefits. And once again, you, you, you know, if you have lots of content, uh, you will need to create additional pages just so that you have all this additional, you know, real estate to add additional web parts, additional widgets um, uh, that you want. Uh, so that's essentially a page. Uh, like I said, any page you create, it will just end up in that uh, site pages library uh, that I showed you, uh, a gear icon site contents, all right? And all the pages will reside there in case if you need to access them. Now, something really important. Uh, in SharePoint, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we maintain security at the site level. So we do not uh, maintain security at the page level. So if you uh, are thinking of maybe creating a separate page and creating unique security for that page, forget about it. That's not the right way to do it. If you do need to maintain unique security uh, for some content, uh, as I mentioned earlier, go ahead and create a new site. All right, a page is just a way for you to gain additional real estate uh, for your additional content. So um, again, in HR example, maybe I want to have a section for benefits and maybe I want to have a, a section for insurance and maybe a section um, you know, for knowledge base or something like that. Uh, in any case, um, you, know, you might have all those different pages, but very important, all these pages, they share the same security. So when you invite somebody into your site, uh, the users will have access to the entire site, to the entire workspace. And the workspace uh, consists of pages and web parts. So something really, really uh, important to understand.
Now, before I end this uh, video, I also wanted to share some additional resources with you. Uh, so first of all, I, if you go to my website, SharePointMaven.com, and click on blog, uh, you will end up on my uh, blog. And I have plenty of plenty of resources in case if you want to learn more about, uh, you know, page editing, for example. Um, I have lots and lots of uh, resources right on my uh, blog and instructions and so on. Uh, however, if you prefer more of a formal training on uh, how to create sites, how to add web parts, how to um, edit pages, how to restore pages, um, uh, all that uh, site owner stuff, I do uh, I do offer uh, training. Uh, I do offer, first of all, live training. And the course I want to show you is this one. This happens to be one of my uh, popular uh, courses for site owners. So if you have a group of users that want, uh, you know, if you want to learn more about, uh, you know, essentially everything you need to know uh, to be a site owner from uh, permissions management to page management, feel free to check it out. Uh, uh, so this is a, a group live training. And uh, if you just want uh, to enroll yourself, maybe uh, you don't have a group, maybe you just want to enroll yourself, I do offer the same course uh, that's available on demand and I pretty much cover the same topics. Uh, and obviously this is the course you can just enroll yourself in and take uh, in your spare time. So just wanted to share those, uh, those a few resources with you. But for now, Thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about the terminology and the difference between sites, web parts, uh, and pages. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.